What's up, JPC gang? Welcome back to another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. That's right, it's your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. And today, I'm teaching you how to do the fluffification. Simple, but not basic. Low basability. Tortillas. Maybe I'll throw you in a bonus recipe. Some salsa, my very own creation. Tortillas with the sauce on, baby. Quick, easy. This is another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. Let's eat. 68. Let's go, baby. Que pasa, amigo? This is one you want to try. We do this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> we got about a cup of masa flour, just uh, instant masa flour. I'll leave it down in the description. Recipe, step by step. You know how we get out, gang. Go down there and check it out. Use these for tacos, burritos. Whatever eat those you want to eat. Mm-hmm. One cup in the bowl and one cup going in. Two cups of masa flour. This is our secret ingredient. A lot of people won't do it, but this is what you do. You're making corn tortillas. Tablespoon of lard. Shh, don't tell nobody, amigo. No say, no say. Tablespoon of lard going in. Take your time, because this is how my real grandmama taught me how to do it. You want to create you a crumble. Break that lard down so this masa can start absorbing some of that fat. You won't see a lot, because we ain't got a lot in there. It's a secret. But I had to tell the gang the secret. Perfecto. Yeah, muy delicioso. Tortilla. Add in about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Use your favorite salt. Teaspoon of kosher salt going in. We need some agua. Two cups of hot water. Muy caliente. Be careful. We're gonna put in one cup starting out. It's all about consistency from here. This masa flour is gonna eat up a lot of that liquid. So you definitely gonna need more. You don't wanna overdo it because you can always add more, but you can't really take it out. You gotta try to measure. You wanna add, you're gonna have to add more of the uh, masa flour in there. You don't know you get lost. You have to call me and be like, hello, Chef Raider. I, I, I told you on the video. What you doing calling me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Y'all call me anytime you want. Another half a cup of the agua going in. It already smell like Mexico in here, baby. Gang, gang. The big winner is soon to be announced of the $1,000 giveaway that's coming real soon. Still going through the emails. Make sure you go drop your email. Jampackcooking at gmail.com. Tell them why you need this $1,000 for the holidays. Somebody need it. We're going to bless somebody with it right before the holidays. We're traveling now. We can't go back to Mexico or go to Jamaica yet. It's not. It's almost it's kind of leveling out, but it's not there yet. We going home. Say hi. Welcome to the great state of Texas, where the state bird is beef brisket and home of the proud Americans you don't want to mess with. Me and my amigos, we only here for one reason, the Texas Taco Tour. <laughs> We're in a great state, the Lone Star State, baby, my state, Tejas. We're here to get messy, greasy. Texas Taco Tour, it's gonna be love, peace, and taco grease. You Texas Taco Tour. You ride a shotgun with your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Going to the bottom of that mo, to the top of that sun. Traveling, traveling, baby. Put your boots on, get your belly ready to eat a whole bunch of tacos. Get it out on the board. You want to knead the dough till it come together. First, it's going to be, you know, it's going to come off a little gritty. She's going to act like she don't want to be with you and you ain't her thing. You see how she's starting to come around? She want to hang together a lot more. She like everybody in the family. Mm-hmm. That comes from you working. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, gang. Don't give up. Work on it. You work this dough for about however long it take you to work on it, but you got to get it to come together. This is the consistency we're going for. This is not a hard recipe. This is very simple. You can impress your guests. During the holidays, you want to do homemade enchiladas, which we got coming on the channel for, for the Christmas enchiladas. You know, I mean, did I say that out loud? I did. That's right, baby. We're doing some Christmas enchiladas real soon. Red and green. You know, the holidays. A lot of holiday stuff coming up. What you want me to cook for you during the holiday? Dough. Knead it together. She came together. Now she love you. Everybody want to be around us. She ain't miserable no more. Go. She love us. Go. We just wrapped it in a wet paper towel. Make sure she don't dry it on the surface. Mm -mm, not at all. Dough balls. Want to see how many tortillas we can get out of this one. You take a guess. Leave, leave it in the comment right now. How many tortillas you think I'm going to get out of this one dough ball? I'm going to find out just like you. Drop it in the comment right now. To be fair, I don't know what they weigh in, but go in there and pinch your something out. Don't do too much. It ain't gotta, you ain't got to go overboard unless you want to make some massive tortillas. Roll it in your hand just like that. I'm looking to get me about a dozen out of here. Roll them up good. Sit them off to the side. Going on. Dust. You can do all type of stuff. If you love Mexican food, you know all the different stuff you can do with tortillas. Tostada, taco, burrito. We got a bad tostada recipe, ceviche recipe. Check it out, it's right here. Ceviche to die for. We're gonna roll the rest of these out. We finna cook us up some tortillas. Dough balls, let's go. 
This is what we got, man. Thresh set. 13. We got a little bit over a dozen. If you like Chef Ray and you ordered your tortilla press from Mexico and it still haven't made it and you mad as hell, this is what you do. Ziploc baggie. I don't care who made it and where you get it from. It's just a Ziploc bag. We cut it open, made it to where it can fold so you can press it out. You want to press your dough out. So look, we're going to take one of our tortillas, dough ball, place it right in the center. I always get mine just a little press to start it out. Not hard, not major. Close it down just like that. Tortilla press, we got it. Get right in here in the center and you let your weight do it. Go in a circular motion just like this. Give it a press and keep it in a circular motion. Something we can eat our tacos on. That's it. Tortilla. A tortilla, baby. Handle her with care. So you flip out. It's your homemade tortillas. You can tell when they homemade too. Go we'll have them jagged edges. Don't let them tell you my real grandmama did these. We did this right here on the game. Let's press out the rest of these tortillas and we finna cook us some. Special recipe coming. Specialty coming. A tortilla is a flat, circular, and typical food. Similar to a thin, flat bread. Usually made from nixtamalized corn or wheat flour. The Aztecs and other other Nahuatl speakers called tortillas taxcali. First made by the indigenous peoples of Mesoamerica before colonization. Tortillas are a fundamental part of the cuisines of many countries of the American continent. The origin of the corn tortilla is Mesoamerica dates back to before 500 BC. All the tortillas done. Wrap them in some paper towel and put them in here just so we can keep the temperature. They can keep the moistification. They won't dry out. Special recipe going on for you. We're making a special sauce on pineapple, avocado, and freeze with jalapeno, baby. To start that salsa, we got all our veggies down on the flat top. Just want to get a char on the outside, give it an extra depth of flavor. The big char. It's going to give you that grilling outside summertime vibe. To start the show. Avocados from Mexico. <laughs> Let them veggies keep chewing, they're gonna be all right. And when it comes to these avocados, a lot of time it's a gamble. Let's see if we got a good one. Hopefully we got us a good one, gang. Looks good enough to me to handle this cord. This is what you do. Take the heel of your knife, twist, and you out of there just like that, baby. No base ability when it comes to our sauce. Scoop them out. Mm-hmm. Cut it down the side because we got the baby Draco out tonight. In the food process, we got the char on our veggies. We using two of these, a couple of these, because we like it that spicy. You don't like it that spicy, use one and take the seeds and the membranes out. Cut it down just for the baby Draco. Hopefully we don't got to put his big brother out of there. Two minced jalapenos, baby Draco. Red onions, they got the most sweetness. Made it with the char on it. Bust them down. You might have to switch. We're going to switch. The big AK-47. Yeah, this the Romanian AK-47. Got more real estate this time. Tablespoon of minced garlic in there. Chipotle chilies and adobo sauce. Take about two or three of them. Adobo sauce in there with that. Mm -hmm, about a tablespoon. Magical moment. The magic dust. Big Smokies BBQ.com for your magic dust. No base ability. A half a cup of pineapple juice. Sweet with that heat. Two tablespoons of pineapple chunks. Fresh lemon juice. I squoze it myself. Teaspoon, fresh lemon juice. Kosher salt. Teaspoon in there. Teaspoon of the black pepper going in. About a teaspoon and a half. I like black pepper. Teaspoon of cream going in. Load it up. Check out consistency. I want it chunky, something just like that there. This is the perfect consistency for us. Pineapple, avocado, salsa. Salsa, like no other salsa. How in the world, where did you come from? Cilantro, get out of here. <laughs> Okay, that was cilantro, man, for the optics we took. Y'all know how Chef Ray feel about it, him and the cilantro. Now that we got that out the way, all those flavors coming together with that sweet heat, when you get the avocados from Mexico, it's just different. This, when all the family's coming over for the holidays, this is the salsa you fix with the avocado. Avocados from Mexico. And the pineapple. Come here, we gotta try that. Come here. <laughs> mm. They gonna stop playing with us, gang. This never get old. Every time I taste my recipe with this one, brand new, over and over, over again, that first kiss. Spice level for me is just right. Sweetness is, is, is just right. Savory notes in there is just right. Tens all across the board. No base ability. Close, gone. Take you one of your most delicate, beautiful, soft corn tortillas, forever so soft and be right back to Mexico, baby. Is he gonna do that? He is gonna do that. Get your piece of cod or whitening fish and put it right there. Get you some of them shrimpies. He's gonna throw you a piece of that, 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 that sada right there. El Pastor, right there. It's there, you see it. Y'all see, you see the whole talk. Stick that pinky out. Stick the pinky out. Stick that pinky out. Come here. We back in Texas already on the Texas Taco Tour. <laughs> Mm, 
can't go to the supermarket and get this. They not there. Muy muy bien. Very, very good. I've been making this for this long, around, especially around the holidays. I make the sauce a lot. I shared it with you guys because I don't have a name for it. My baby's like, can you make the sauce? We love the sauce. Fish sauce, taco sauce, burrito sauce, mm -hmm. corn sauce. A lot of different ways with the sauce. Y'all leave a uh, name for this down in the comments. We're getting ready to give away that bread right before Christmas. We know everybody gonna need that extra thousand dollars for the holiday. Take yourself over to jump at cooking at gmail.com. Leave a comment. Tell us why you need the money. Thank you for getting us over that 10,000 mark. We on the road to 100K right now. 100,000 subscribers. Share the page and tell a friend to tell a friend. JPCgang.com. Get you something to put your bread in. This is the bread bag. A lot of different stuff over there, man. You know, go and check it out. Over the holidays, we got 75% of the proceeds going to non-profit. Do your part like I'm doing my part, man. Tap in. JPCgang.com. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Because we always jamming and cooking, baby. It's your boy, Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Until next time, peace and love.